ever since we did our last video i've had a few comments in the section and some few calls people asking us what um the history of biodigesters and where they actually was the story behind biodigesters so what i've done or briefly wanted to do right here story behind biodigesters in ghana actually became prominent they they started dominating the conversation in 2014 the the reason why i remember this clearly is because of the the cholera outbreak that came that i think um, caused a lot of death there were a lot of casualties i think at the end of the whole um outbreak which lasted for over a year over 200 people died and then the government of ghana had a, a discussion i think the world bank also came in had a discussion with the government of ghana and they wanted to find solutions to why i mean at this time of this my cholera should be one of the of of, of of a cause for people getting sick or dying actually and then they came to realization that our sanitation issue is not good our environments are not clean naturally i'm sure if you walk through the streets of accra you know how we are grappling to solve this issue of um, rubbish garbage and waste disposal so i think they what they did was to alert us to a technology which was this biodegradable toilet technology and it's something that probably can also help because really that people most people in accra don't have access to this private um toilets and the, the ones that have been done the ones that people pay money to actually go are all not decent infection and all those stuff that comes with having such a um, um a facility then they, apparently the discussion came on, on and on and off and then realized that biodigester is something that will help improve this um, sanitation situation especially in the low income areas low income areas i'm sure if you're in accra or you're in ghana you know low in, low income areas places like choco jamestown coastal um, areas and the problem that they were having with especially maintaining sanitation and stuff and then the first trials of the biodigesters were done um, i think habitat did one that's when the company i was working with some other solutions came in some other solutions had a had a contract with um, uh, habitat ghana to try and do some change this pan latrine that most of the people were using in their houses into biodigesters so what we did was to to take out some of this um pan latrine do the the the, the, the digester and put a, a kvip seat on them and do a hand wash basin for them and it was a it was a it worked well most people liked it we did a behavioral understanding of why biodigesters are the way to go and then it pick it pick on from there then the gamma projects came on board the gamma projects which was a greater Accra metropolitan assembly project came and the world bank provided a huge money 150 million dollars for for households who are interested in having um toilets in their homes to adopt or use biodigesters instead of going for the normal kvip and all those unproven technologies that were in the system then and obviously the issue of the septic tank which were which were being used by people like middle income and high income earners they were using the septic tank and then with time they also realized that probably such a technology the size that it is the fact that you don't have to dislodge you don't need to all the same the drama that comes with having these huge tanks in front of your house or the or as uh, taking a portion of your land and all the drama comes with you realize that the bad are actually something that works and it's something that can be used so that's when the the, the whole technology became huge and then um, Zoom Lion came in with the Mudok plant in November 2016 with the president, the, the then president, President Mahama Lund, was huge. What the Mudok plants was actually doing, you know, we had the Lavender Hill. So the Lavender Hill had a place where the truck pullers were sending, the ways that have been taken from people's house, were sending them to there and they were being dumped directly into the sea, which was a big no, 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 no. So when the Mudo plant was was installed, was constructed, this 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 truck that was sending this huge solid waste to the, the sea had to go there, pay some small fee 
for the feces to be what treated and then the wastewater which are wage by them will have been floated and clean with what was going to go into the sea and then the, the solid waste will be used to do a fertilizer or anything that will help the environment that's where the Modoc plan came in. It also became big. And people understand people started understanding that these are the digesters and these are the stuff that will help the environment become clean. And then ever since it, there's no turning back. Now all house households are using it. We ourselves have done over a thousand by digesters in Ghana as a company and we keep on improving. We have a lot of clients that are coming back every day and they are amazed by the technology that they are seeing. So basically this is the history of by digesters in Ghana.